Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we'll study the posterior inferior to the acetabular bone which is known as the ischium, the thick bone. So the ischium is forming two-fifths of the acetabulum. The ischium has an upper end and a lower end. Now the upper end is mostly forming the acetabulum and the smooth part. The lower end of the ischial bone is very important. You can see there is this really rough area over here. This is the ischial tuberosity. Now the ischial tuberosity is what you, when you're sitting, you are sitting on your ischial tuberosity. The ischium has an anterior border which is forming the posterior margin of the obturator foramen, a lateral border and finally a posterior border. So the posterior border of this ischium is beginning from the greater sciatic notch when it is finally becoming the ischial spine and then the lesser sciatic notch. This is the posterior border. And that's all you need to know about the bony features of the ischium. What's important are the attachments of the ischium. So I've divided for the sake of ease the attachments into a, three parts. Let's talk about what comes first, the ischial spine, then comes the sciatic notch, and then comes the ischial tuberosity. In order of these structures, let's talk about the attachments. At the ischial spine, you have your very important ligament known as the sacro spinous ligament because obviously it is going to be extending from sacrum to the spine which is the ischial spine so sacro spinous ligament then comes the lesser sciatic notch so the lesser sciatic notch has an upper part where it's starting and a lower part where it's ending so in the upper part of the lesser sciatic notch comes the superior jamalus muscle and obviously at the inferior part it, the, if, since there's a superior there has to be an inferior jamalus muscle Moreover, final attachments of the ischial tuberosity, which is very important, these are as follows. The ischial tuberosity is divided by a transverse ridge into an upper and a lower part. The upper part is divided via an oblique ridge into a suprolateral and an inframedial part. The lower part is divided by a longitudinal ridge into an inner part and an outer part. The reason for dividing ischial tuberosity into these parts is for understanding the muscle attachments. The suprolateral part of the ischial tuberosity consists of the semimembranosus muscle of your lower limb. The lower, or the inframedial part of your ischial tuberosity consists of the semitendinosus muscle plus the long head of biceps femoris just like the upper limb has a biceps the lower limb has it but it is called biceps femoris then we have the outer part the outer part gives attachment to the adductor magnus muscle we've already studied the origination of the adductor longus and bravus from the pubis so we have one left called the adductor magnus which arises from this outer lower part of the ischial tuberosity and finally, the other muscles include at the medial margin and the lateral margin. On the lateral margin of your ischial tuberosity arises the quadratus femoris muscle and on the medial margin arises the sacrotuberous ligament. So that was all you needed to know about the ischium. Apart from this, let's cover up the obturator internus muscle, obviously coming from the ischium, the ischial part of it. And finally, the obturator externus. Apart from this, you need to know that this is the acetabulum, which is uh, consists of a notch all around and except that notch is deficient inferiorly. This is bridged by a transverse ligament through which important nerves and vessels will pass. Apart from this, you can see inside the notch, you can see this fossa. This is the acetabular fossa here is the non-articular part. So the femur is going to articulate with this outer part, not the acetabular fossa. Apart from this, there is the conjoint ischiopubic rami, which in its upper border gives origin to the obturator membrane, and in its lower border, it gives attachment to the coles fascia. So that was all you needed to know about your hip bone. I really hope I made it easy for you to understand. Keep watching Hasna's Anatomy for more easy videos to make your anatomy life easy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.